Our vision for Create a Sim is that you should really be able to make any person you know. Um, to, uh, to create somebody who's in your imagination or a real person from the real world. Uh, the face, so I have quick presets for every aspect of her face, her eyes, and uh, very quickly you can see her become somebody different. Uh, for, every, for every feature that you can customize, we also give you the ability to really fine tune the feature so you can actually kind of sculpt your character's face and really just uh, make exactly who you're trying to. Uh, you can definitely see Sims' uh, emotions on their faces. Uh, you can see it in everything that they do, whether they're walking around or like spending time alone. Like, you can kind of tell what they're thinking by the expression that they have on their faces. I can uh, customize her clothing. For every, uh, every type of clothing, there are many entries. So uh, we give you many colors to begin with. In Sims 2, you can choose your shirt and you can choose your pants. Now you can choose shirt, pants, and shoes. The shoes, the shoes will be different. Uh, you, the same, like we said, the same, you have a leopard print pants, and you want them on your shoes, you've got it. Uh, if you choose a, a dress, and you want to put on stockings, or you want to put on socks underneath the shoes separately, uh, that is also available. And, and once again, the same pattern, if you have an argyle, or a stripe pattern, or whatever that you like, you can put it on the socks or on the stockings, uh, the same as everything else. It's, from sort of from a from from a clothing standpoint, they're all created with the same uh, the same technology that allows you to take those same patterns and mix and match them however you want. So creating Sims and th Sims Three, it's it's a similar style, but we've had a lot more customizability. So you'll have many more options. You can create pretty much anyone you know. Uh, it's really quite amazing. The character of Sims Three, uh, it it progresses over time, so they only start out when they're toddlers. Uh, they only start out with two bits of character, two little character traits. And based on how you raise them, how well you do, uh, you either get to choose uh, additional traits for them or they get assigned to you. Um, so if you fail school, you might get a bad one. Uh, your kid might become uh, mean or neurotic or something like that. Uh, but if you do well, then you may get a good one. Um, and once you once you've worked and fulfilled a lot of wishes, if you realize you have a, a personality trait you don't like, you can actually purchase a midlife crisis for them, and you get to change one. They can have a favorite food, a favorite music, and a favorite color. Um, and those things, those you actually cannot change. You can only change their personality traits. This, the Sims 3 is all about building characters that you recognize and, and the, seeing how they feel and going through their day. So. It's, it's really fun to create these little people and watch their lives play out and see them excited and sad and kind of tell these different stories with them. And each of the, each of the Sims now has got a series of personality traits. Um, so they can be cheap with money or they can love fast sports cars or whatever it is. And you get to discover those um, as you interact with them within the game. So it, it's a much richer, richer and deeper simulation of uh, hopefully players will have more emergent stories that they can have fun with.